Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadia Moore, and if you aren't already, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below. I post videos twice a week, but this week, today, we are gonna be going over how I manage my uncontrollable hair and make it somewhat controllable so i've got these bangs right here and they're getting pretty long and just recently i've kind of started been wearing them to the side a little bit and i'm going to show you guys how i go about styling that or if my bangs are just kind of like acting crazy that day how i go about styling that so we're gonna go on and get into it. It's gonna be super basic, super easy, and I just kinda wanted to tell you guys about this one styling tool. It is created by You Smooth, and it is their mini finishing iron. So this is what it looks like. It is so baby and so tiny and honestly so aesthetically pleasing, like the white is so cute, and like obviously you could tell it's about the size of my hand, and it's probably like, has a three-fourths inch iron on the inside, but it's just little, little bitty, and it's perfect for traveling, and that's what I really like about it, because if I'm traveling, I don't usually straighten my hair a lot, but sometimes I need a little bit of a little, little something, something, uh, something to control these things up here, and maybe like some of my ends. I put a couple curls in my hair with this, and I really, really, really liked it, so this is just like an ridiculous like this is ridiculous okay so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how this works so this is really awesome it heats up to 410 degrees and it's just it's so lightweight like it's i kept trying to plug it in and it was just like flopping everywhere that's how lightweight it is so it's perfect if you're going on an airplane or traveling or anything like that where you just need something small and compact and this helps a lot to get into the roots really, really close too. So if you've got super coarse hair and it's curly, this helps to get super close to your head without burning yourself. I use like a mini flat iron all the time when I'm at school, in cosmetology school, um, for flat ironing uh, natural hair. It really helps to get close to the, uh, the root of the head and get it real straight. I'm gonna use this to do my bangs because it's perfect for short hair and I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit. So pretty much my bangs are usually like straight across but they're so long right now I need a haircut. Anyway I am getting a haircut probably this week or next week so I'm cutting off like all this. Like all this on my hair so that'll be good. Anyway this is super basic so easy if you've got bangs this is what you should do. Um, I am going to go ahead and kind of like pull my part over this way because I want my bangs to go this way. So I'm going to pull my hair kind of swishing it over this way and you don't want this part to be perfect like that's going to be not good. You don't want it to be perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and part it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pull all of this hair over to the side. This is pretty much all of my bangs but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit of jagged. So like these are my longer pieces. I'm gonna pull the longer pieces out and then pull kind of like a little bit of a front piece down. So as you can see, the part is kind of back and forth and that's what I want. I want something that's more messy, but as you can see, like I look like I have a comb over and we don't want that, so no. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these pieces right here and kind of give them a little bit of a bump, put some life into them. Just like this. So it kind of gave it a little bit of a lift and you can do this for as many pieces as you need to. Just kind of back away from the face. Just like that. And I like to do it and give myself a little bit of like a curl up at the top up here. Kind of like that. This is when my hair, you know, I'm on like third day hair. So my hair has some like leftover curl to it, so we're just gonna kind of keep playing with that and bring it all together. So as for these pieces, I still have a comb over, so um, I'm gonna start on the outside and pretty much just give it volume, swooping out and give it dimension. So some pieces I'm gonna be going this way, give it a little bit of a bump. Some pieces I'll kind of like flip it a little bit, give it a little bit of a curl just like that because we don't want anything to be like too perfect and then I'm gonna go out just like that and like it'll brush out but this also is gonna help your hair 
to not only like have some texture and volume and it's also going to help it to kind of stay over to the side so a lot of the time whenever if i take my bangs and i'm trying to like sweep them to the side they don't want to stay they just keep coming back over even if they're long like they don't want to stay so this is what i do and then i kind of just like comb it out a little bit with my fingers because you don't want to pull all the curl out you just want to do it a little bit and give it like that volume so my hair is kind of like pulled to the side now i have a couple pieces that are like in my way so then you just can kind of curl these and this is perfect for kind of precision curling or straightening this little mini you smooth flat iron it's perfect for that and it kind of just gives it like the hair some nice texture so like now my bangs are completely transformed they look really cool but they're not in my eyes like they were before this little guy needs to go so see i can take like the tiniest little piece and just curl it out of my way and then it's all better so as you can see now my hair went from like a comb over bang to like a super trendy super cute super fun bang and it kind of just like the texture goes in with the rest of my texture of my hair and i really like to wear my hair like this sometimes just when i'm sick of my straight across the bangs and it's getting summertime and i'm trying to grow these out i think i think i'm gonna try to grow them out because i don't really know if i want to deal with bangs in the summer just because it's so much to handle so I might like be doing this, grow them out. We'll see. I might end up cutting them again. I don't really know. But this little guy is perfect for precision curling. I can do small little pieces and just give my hair a little bit of like a lift. And it's so fun. So it can kind of do the, the small jobs that a bigger flat iron can't even do because it's not precise enough. So this is perfect for bangs and you can make it as precise as you want and you can just get like the tiny little pieces and you're able to like kind of get them out of your eyes so i just wanted to tell you guys that because i think that little tool is super super cute and if you travel a lot or if you go like different places all the time it's perfect for that and if you have short hair it's also perfect for that you wouldn't even need like a big flat iron you would just need this little baby one and it's super handy super easy to use so i highly recommend that flat iron okay so that is what i wanted to tell you guys this week just tell you a little bit about my bangs and stuff you know um yes love this thanks you smooth this is awesome and yeah so that's all that i have to say this week and if you guys want to know where to pick up this flat iron just click the link in the bio uh you can click my blog i'm going to be talking more about this amazing flat iron and you can find the link on my blog then you can go purchase one for yourself because it's super cheap and it's kind of just good to have on hand for any travel needs or anything like that we're gonna find out i have a cool video coming thursday anyway um thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel woohoo so you don't miss out on my videos and yeah so thank you guys so much and i will see you next time bye